All right, guys, welcome back. We are jumping right into it, not going to waste any time. Let's talk 6A, 6B, early archery elk hunting in Arizona. Um, very, very different units. 6A is giving out 700 tags. 6B is giving out 150 tags. 6B is a, a lot more rugged unit, bordering unit 8, bordering wilderness areas, and also bordering 6A. So 6B offers a little bit more for those guys that want to get out on foot and do some backpack hunting and do some real rugged elk hunting deep into some canyons, trying to find the bigger bulls. Fantastic unit. A lot of people don't haven't really focused on that unit a lot. Of, you don't hear too much about 6B, but it is a great unit to try to draw. It doesn't take 10 to 15 bonus points as a resident. So if you're trying to draw this tag as a resident, you're going to need in that five points range. And as a non-resident, historically speaking, you're going to need kind of in that six, six to eight points to try to draw this tag. It's a great unit if, you, if you're physically capable and want to chase bulls around. Um, water can be very effective in 6B as well, just like most units across Arizona. Um, transitioning over into 6A. 6A is a very, very popular unit in Arizona statewide. 700 archery tags. There are going to be at least 700 other people with bows in their hands out there and then probably another 400 fr family and friends with them. So there's going to be a lot of people in the woods guys on these archery hunts. You should expect to hear a lot of uh, people trying to call at these elk with calls that they've picked up from Walmart and all this kind of stuff, um, which very well may work, but expect to see some hunting pressure, hear some hunting pressure. Most, most of these elk kind of shut down um, halfway through the hunt, uh, responding to hunters, responding to calling, and they kind of do most of their work at night. So be prepared for that. Be prepared for these elk to kind of go into, uh, you know, adjusting with all the hunters in the woods and all these people calling. If you can only imagine 700 people um, blowing a hoochie mama or trying to bugle for the first time, um, you can really kind of understand what these elk are thinking. Uh, they're going to kind of try to get into their own space, get into some less popular um, areas for hunters to walk into. So um, with the approach in 6A is really you can stay up high where it's a little bit easier to walk around. Um, Northern 6A is pretty flat, a lot of pine trees and elk are roaming around up in there. And then you drop in a lower country, it becomes a little bit more rugged. There's some wilderness areas and great places to uh, stock on more mature bulls that, that take their cows into some of this more rugged stuff for some privacy. Um, so keep in mind, guys, these, are, these early archery elk hunts take three-dimensional hunting. They, they take spot and stalking, they take being able to call and execute calling correctly with these elk, and they also take being able to sit water. So you need to be able to adjust um, as the hunt goes on um, and how the elk are responding to certain things. If it's going to be raining all day, then probably water is not going to be as effective. If these elk are quiet and shut down, it's a full moon and hot, then you're probably not going to be able to call at them quite as much. And if you're in the thick pine tree, spot and stalking, uh, can work if you really practice still hunting and kind of tree to tree type deal in where some of these elk like to bed. So 6A is a very popular unit just because of its location and because the elk population. 6A is about an hour and a half north of Phoenix. It's right off I-17 and um, it, it definitely offers a lot of opportunity for people that live in the metropolitan Phoenix area to come up and experience elk hunting for the first time. And it's very friendly for quads and side-by-sides and big trucks and trailers. So if you do draw that tag and, and you are um, going to camp and do all that kind of stuff, it's got a lot of really good opportunities for you to do that. So um, good luck if you're in 6A. It can be a very, very productive unit. And it has the elk to back up the 700 tag allotment. So if you do draw that tag... Get in there and drive around during the summer and, and do a little scouting beforehand. So I'm going to be doing some more videos uh, just working down the line with Arizona Archery Elk Hunting and kind of giving a rundown of the units, guys. So good luck if you're trying to draw. And if you did draw a 6A and 6B tag, um, congratulations. It's a fantastic permit, um, and I wish you the best. So stay tuned, guys. We'll talk to you soon.